Hi guys, uh, Kev from the Atari Staff Room back again. Um, it's been another hiatus, I know life, work, things have gotten away. Um, yeah, and I'm ashamed to say I've kind of fallen out of love with the old ST at the moment. Um, so I'm not ha very ha a very happy chappy. So I thought what I'd try and do now to reignite some passion is to play the games I had back in the day in, as far as I can remember, and I've got a reasonably good memory when it comes to media and things. I'm the sort of sado who can talk along with A-team scripts from the original season, nonsense like that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and play the games I originally had on the summer pack, which came bundled with my SD back in the late 80s. I'm going to play them in roughly the order in which... I played them back then to try and reignite some passion for the system. Uh, now, my first, the first game I remember playing is Mousetrap from Microvalue. Um, yeah, this was later released on those Prism Leisure 299 Pocket Money vacuum pack things we used to get um, for the ST. But yeah, this was the first game I played, and this was the first game I played because it had a loader menu. There was this and Pluto's on the same disc. Now, the first game I would have, I would have played would have been Ranorama, but myself and my father could work out what a double click was. You've got to remember, this was back in the day when double clicking a mouse wasn't commonplace. Mice weren't commonplace in the home. So, yeah, so I couldn't work out how to, Ranorama was launched off the desktop, couldn't work out to do that, put in Mousetrap and played this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start Mousetrap off admittedly a cracked menu because for some reason Atari Mania do not have a dump of the original which I find astounding but there we are um, yeah so we're gonna play uh, Mousetrap now and give it a go lovely little single screen shooter nice sort of transition from my 8-bit Dragon 32 which was all single and flip screen shooters uh, shooters what am I talking about platformers not shooters ignore the shooter nonsense or single or flip screen platformers over to the ST 16 bit improved graphics, improved sound, improved gameplay, etc. etc. But this is still flip screen, single screen platformer. So great stuff. Let's kick on and have some fun. Okay, so I'm going to pop the cans on now so I can hear the sound. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, here's the old pack in screens. We love them, don't we? Oh, this takes me back. I'm going to just turn the volume down a little bit. There we are. Right, okay. Off we've got nice bright colours. Let's start the game. Oh, hang on a minute. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Um, define keys. Up, down, left, right. Fire. Okay. Yes, I am using Hatari, I know. Right. Can't remember how to start the game. Space bar, is it? Space bar, that's why I couldn't start it using. Here we go. So space is simple controls. Space is oh, <coughs> jump left, right, up and down with the ladders, basically. So the idea of the game is to collect the object, and once you do that little mouse trap door, which was above me, then ooh, will open, and you can progress to the next level. And that's pretty much it. But this. I was, I just like this. You can't even climb up the ladder, sorry. You have to jump there. It's been a while since I've played it, but I do like the graphics. They have a, a quality about them. I wouldn't say cartoony, but just look at that troll looking guy. Over there. I, was, it's, I mean, this is an early game, and that's quite a nice graphic. Okay, the gameplay. It's not. You know, it's not complicated gameplay, but it's a nice little platformer. One that I think gets overlooked. And off we go. Next screen. The screens do get progressed. Oh, God. No! And if you fall too far, 
you die. Right there. And if you hit those thistle things, you die. And it is... I won't say pixel perfect, but you can catch your nose on them. And that nose sticks out quite a way. Oh, too far. That did not work. Okay. We'll just have to do it this way now. Can we set onto that? Yeah. Cool. Okay, we go that way. That's what I should have done. We step onto it? Yep. Do that. Okay. Oh no, that was too far. You silly sod, Kev. Right, okay. Jump to there. So, I mean, he doesn't... He's very fragile, this mouse. I just realised all of those are still there. Uh, it's reset all the Christmas puddings. And that bomb, a comedy looking sort of cherry bomb thing on the side, there is my, um... Is my time. And beside that were those mice faces and my lives. This game is a lot harder than it looks. Maybe it looks quite simple, but I mean, my tail could get done by that obviously lethal blue and white teacup. But uh, um, here we go. Hey! Right. How am I going to do this? I got you. Got to think ahead sometimes, and I don't want to destroy both of those platforms because I need to get back up. So. No. So, I need that platform. Can I get up there? Yes, I could have done. I basically screwed myself over now, but, but oh hell. Oh, well, there you are. Right. Oh, and your name, K, E, B. Oh, God. Curve. Curve. My E isn't working because I'm using the... Oh. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. <coughs> so I'm using a... My controller is emulating the keyboard, so... Again, I'm using the 8-bit Pro, Pro FC30 Pro controller, which is a beautiful thing, which emulates all sorts of different controllers. Hell, it'll even work on a Wii. As a, as a classic controller. I should really do a hard way review of that. I, I can jump on top of the, the weird thistly things. They're supposed to kill me. Cool. But, oh my god, have I left that a bit late? Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Whew. All right. Um, yeah, I should really do a hard way review on this because it is absolutely awesome. For Chinese, you know. Dare I say knockoff? It's bloody brilliant. Now this guy can kill you if he catches you in the arches. So, so to speak. It sounds painful, but you know what I mean. He can see you through those. Oh, mm, good. Fancy ball on the me. <coughs> I've just noticed the flags say MT for most trap. In all these years, I've never twigged that up until now. Right, we've done all this before. We know roughly what we're doing by now. And I shouldn't have done that, really. I need to go back tonight. <sighs> to jump onto here first. See, this does give you plenty of time to complete these early levels. So it's fine, but <sighs> okay. 
we know roughly what we want to do now, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Pick up there. Nice colour pink there. Up up here. Leap oh no! I need to make a leap of faith. No! Oh sugar in hell! Can I get back up? Oh yeah, I can. After all that. Step, yes. No, that's gonna be too far. Oh! Right. So I don't have to worry too much about them, as it turns out. So I can make that jump. Make that jump. And oh! Oh! Rotten thing. Right, here we go. This time, if we want to get past this level. And there's not many actual objects on here. This, I suppose it's more of a puzzle platform than a straight platform than this one. Oh, come on. Why can't I just turn around? I don't know. Let's try to turn it. Oh, there he is. Oh, no. Ah, come on. Up. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh. Right, we know that's a step. Right, so what I need to do is just time my drop. Off, go, go. Oh, this time dead. Oh, come on, come on, jump and get on there. Right. Come on, you rotten thing. Oh god, no. Oh, Jesus, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Am I going to get away with this? No. Oh. Right, last go. Come on, Kev. Bolster your lines. You can do this. Come on, get up there. Oh. I think it's... Here we are. Jump. I need to time this. Okay, but it's going to be down there. I want to start. Go. And off we go. Yes! How the hell do I get back up there? I've got a race across now. Sugar and hell. How the hell am I going to do this? Um. Oh! I didn't mean to do that. Balls again. Balls. Two. <laughs> right, okay. I'm gonna give this a mouse trap one more go. I am really quite enjoying this, but I know I'm aware of the time constraints I have. Things have to be done, you know, real life and all that, unfortunately. Dinners have to be cooked for people and Okay, um, you know, children have to be dealt with and other such things. So I don't I'm just squeeze in a quick go on this end, trying to reignite some love for the SD, and it's. I can feel it. I can feel the nostalgia creeping back. We may not have a truck stun like the Mega Drive, but we had Mostra. Would I say it's better? No, they're completely different games, but this is... I'm certainly enjoying myself. This is a nice little, little fun game. Oh. oh no, I didn't want to do that, did I? That's the red herring. Oh. We're flying this level. Yes. Okay. It's a goldfish bowl level again. Here we go. This pink level is my undoing so far. I'm not sure we can manage it, but. Oh. Go, 
Ah. I need to land on that platform, and then jump up onto that platform. Oh. And this means nothing to you guys, I know, but I can see what I gotta do. The platform directly below where I died is what I've gotta land. I then gotta jump up onto the, the platforms above, get that ball, and then come back around to myself. That's the only way of doing it, I can see. So. <sighs> so I gotta t you gotta time this just so. Go. Oh! I made it to the platform, I didn't make it clear. So it is doable, right. No, not yet. Not yet. Then go. No, I didn't make it clear again. Ah! With that weird walking troll again. He looks like he's walking on his hands. I just noticed. know what we gotta do now, don't we? I mean, I gotta walk forward slightly just to get out of his path, to be honest. There we go. Oh, yes! Did it. Don't screw up now, Kev. Just go for it. There. Oh, come on. Plenty of time. Don't screw it up. Not a problem now. Easy, nice and slowly. Right there. Right, just that one. My trick is going to be... How does this work? Where is he? Oh, you were kidding me. Oh, I didn't realise he wrapped. I thought he went back and forth. Hell. Right. Done it once, can do it again. Come on. Oh, right. Oh! Oh. Balls. 1,000. 100. There you are. Well, I'm going to leave it there as regards the video. Um, I think I'm going to give it another few cracks. And yeah, so this was Mousetrap. It was the first game I ever played Nasty, and I really did enjoy that. Um, I don't know how long we've been playing. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe? But it didn't seem like that. Um, yeah, so I heartily recommend you give that a go. Right, next time, it's got to be Pluto's, because that was the next one, and it was on the same disc. So, see you next time, and it will be very soon, I promise. Okay, bye.